If you really want to reach out to those people that don't understand, the people that are in the darkness, so you need to explain yourself again and again and again and again and again. And you need to share and you need to talk and you need to open your heart and you need to wander together and you need to think together and you need to allow your partners to question your conclusions, your wise, sophisticated, intelligent understandings that you have. You know how many times I was standing in those situations? My wife, she told me, I disagree, and I think you're wrong, and I think that Hashem is not like you're explaining, and I think that Hashem is this and that. And we were, uh, I was losing my mind. I wanted to jump out the window. I didn't know what to do. But because that Hashem gave me those powers of iron, of steel, to stand and not to move, and not to let her reject herself even, and not to be rejected by her doubts and her fears, I could hear the voice of the Shekhinah talking out of her mouth. That it's written on the Shekhinah Kdosha. That the Shekhinah Kdosha is refusing to accept the promises of the Creator. The feminine side of the Creator is not accepting the claims and the explanations and the promises of the Creator. And she's screaming at the Creator. The Shekhinah Kdosha is saying to Father in Heaven, Kalani Meroshi, Kalani Mezroi, he is cursing me, she is saying. The Shekhinah Kdosha is saying, the Creator is cursing me. You exiled me and my children to between the nations, to be murdered, to be raped, to be forced, to be abused over there, to suffer from sicknesses, illnesses, plagues, poverty, executions, horrible things, suffering. And now you promise to us, don't worry, my daughter, one day I'm going to bring you back. Don't worry, my wife, my lovely bride, my daughter, my beloved. Are you kidding me? The Shekhinah is saying? Are you talking to me? The Shekhinah is saying. She takes out her weapon and shooting the Creator in his face. She's not afraid. She's a crazy woman now after 2,000 years of exile. You cannot talk to her. She is. She is defending her children in the exile, fighting for them when they're being raped, when they're being insulted, but when they're being abused. That's the voice of the Shekhinah Dosha. So now your wife, she's got the merit to be the Shekhinah Dosha. So now you, okay, be in the side of the Creator. Let's see you. Let's see you promising to her a better future. And let's see you bringing future. Let's see you benefit her life, helping her, giving her confidence, telling her, answering her, solving all of her doubts, all of her fears, helping her, being a friend, a loyal husband, a real leader, merciful leader, a kind person, a strong, powerful man. Be that one. Then you will have the ability to bring her out from the exile. And the real results of you being such a powerful person is that you're going to change things in kingship of heaven also. Because when you're going to win in those battles in your house, in your living room, in your life, you're going to make changes in the world. The Creator is going to listen to you and going to say, Amen, Ken Yehiratzon, like that you just said. Like that when I said on top of the grave of Rabbi Yudha Zev Lebovich that we will not going to accept, that no one will be left behind, we're not going to let no one to left be left behind, I'm going to stay with him. I'm not going to go to be redeemed. I rather I choose to stay with my people. I'm staying with the poorest ones, with the ones that have no wisdom, no understanding. Like Moshe Rabbeinu, that it's written on him that he was sag mikol bachol. That when he saw a person that was far from everything, far from understanding, from, for, far from knowledge, Moshe Rabbeinu said to himself, I want to be with him. And he went to sit with him on the side curve, on the sidewalks, on the, on the barzelim, on the fence, talking to him, talking to him, explaining him, spending time with him for hours. With who? With the poorest ones of them all, with the farthest ones of them all, with the ones that have no understanding about faith. Why? Because he saw the spark. He saw the holy spark of the holy soul that is shining from inside, the pure will. The loyalty, the kindness, the friendship, the desire for truth, for honor. 
That's what he saw. He was recognizing the good points inside of those souls. And he went out to reach to those holy souls. And he was bringing them back to the holy camp, to the camp of Israel, to the holy land, to the promised land. Before you stabilized your faith in yourself, in the truth that you claim that it's the truth, you cannot sell it to others. You cannot offer it to others. You cannot tell your wife, no, count on Hashem, when you don't have that confidence in Hashem. And when your wife, she's coming and shaking your confidence, shaking your stability, waking up those fears inside of you, instead of making her your enemy and hating her for that, Take that as a lesson that your faith is not strong enough and go strengthen your faith, work on your faith with the Creator. Go to Hashem. Tell her, you know what? I'm going to answer you in an hour. If she's going to break plates on your head, okay, so you cannot go. But if she won't, so go and talk to Hashem on that. Go wait to the right time. Talk to Hashem. Tell Hashem, Hashem, today I realize I'm not counting on you also. It's not my wife's lack of confidence, it's my lack of confidence. If I would count on you completely, I would know what to answer. I would answer her. I would answer a satisfying answer that would satisfy her, and she would say, you know what, you're right. But if I didn't know what to answer, so it's because I don't know the answer. If I would know the answer, I would answer. And if you're lying to yourself to say, no, I do know the answer, you're just lying. What, you rather to break your house because your wife, she is suffering? You rather to fight with your wife that your children are going to suffer just because that you don't have the patience? Okay, so go and cry to Hashem, I don't have faith. I don't see that it's all you. I don't understand that I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not able to express myself. Maybe that's what you need to fix. Maybe you need to learn how to express yourself. No matter what, if you want to come closer to the Creator, there is nothing that can reject you from it. Nothing in the world can reject you from that. If you really want to come closer to the Creator, nothing can reject you from it. Because everything that will come to hit you, you're going to accept it as a lesson. You're going to learn from it. And you will never going to be defeated. You will never going to lose the fight. You will always going to stand up back on your feet, back on your legs. No matter what, which punch you got to your face, knockout, you're going to stand up back on your legs. You're going to reborn, you're going to renew yourself, you're going to start all over again, and you're going to say to Hashem, thank you for the amazing lesson. Thank you for the amazing lesson.